Hi, my name is Tony Kovach, and I'm the artist in residence here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. I want to welcome you back to our series of instructional videos for the piano accordion. I also want to welcome you to this new unit of study in which we talk about how to play in minor keys and discuss the different types of minor keys. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to play a song in a minor key, as well as discuss some of the musical elements that make a song sound minor. You probably noticed that today I'm playing a slightly larger accordion. That's because, unfortunately, I can't play minor chords on a 12 bass accordion, so I've upgraded to a 32 bass accordion. Remember, as we continue to accumulate knowledge, we're also going to continue to accumulate buttons. Larger accordions also have some other interesting features that you probably notice. For instance, on this side we have switches. That's because on this instrument I can change the sound. I have a violin setting. And I also have a clarinet setting. On the left hand side, my accordion has a bass row, major chords, just like a 12 bass. But in addition, it has this row here, the third row back, which is minor chords. And it also has seventh chords, which we're not going to use today, but we will explore in future lessons. First, let's discuss what we mean when we say minor. The songs we've been playing thus far have been in the major keys of C, F, or G. While a song in a major key will tend to sound generally upbeat, a song in a minor key can evoke a sad, dark, or scary mood. It's actually relatively easy to create that minor sound. It just requires a few adjustments. For example, take the first five notes of the C major scale. C, D, E, F, and G. All I have to do is alter one note to make it sound minor. Notice changing that one note has completely changed the quality and character of the music. All I did was flat the third. That means that the third note of the scale, E, became E flat. So instead of playing an E natural, I played an E flat. Try playing that five finger scale up and down. Let's quickly revisit one of our earlier tunes from the series, Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Listen to the difference when I flat the third. When I change the key to minor in the right hand, I also have to change it to minor in the left hand. Listen to how strange it sounds if I play a major chord in the left hand while playing the minor melody in the right hand. To play a minor chord in the left hand, all it requires is a simple alteration in fingering. Here's what my major chord looks like. Notice it looks slightly different with the two extra roads added today. To play a minor chord, instead of putting my middle finger on the major row, I'm going to put my index finger on the button right behind it. That's my minor row. Notice there's a gap between my ring and index finger now. All of this will come in handy as we transition to our song of the day, Minka. Remember that minor feel in the key of C minor is accomplished by playing the E flat, which is the only black key we're going to be playing today. Almost the entire song can be played without shifting your hand around, but it's critical that you start with your second finger on C. The first phrase sounds like this. Notice the melody didn't involve any shifting, and the E flat is played with our fourth finger. The second phrase of the song starts with the exact same musical material as the first phrase. But then it differs. The last part of the song simply highlights an inverted G major chord. Remember G major? We're going to play B on the bottom, D, and G on top. The phrase sounds like this. The entire second phrase sounds like this. The entire melody sounds like this. The left hand accompaniment only uses two chords, C minor and G major. 
The first phrase of the song starts on C minor and then switches to G major halfway through, like this. The second phrase starts in the same way, but at the very end it switches back to a C minor on the last two notes of the song, just like this. So the whole accompaniment sounds like this. You start on C, C, then G, back to C, now G, now C. The really fun thing about having different settings on an accordion is you can play a song two times and it will sound different if you switch the register you're in. Stay tuned for our next lesson where we talk about how to play a song in a minor key that has three different chords in the left hand. Thanks for watching.